Welcome back to CBSN and our continuing coverage of the Democratic debate. Joining me now from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, is Jeff Weaver, Bernie Sanders' campaign manager. Thanks for being with us, Jeff. Oh, happy to be here. So how do you think Mr. Sanders did? Well, I think, you know, that he, he gets better every debate. I thought he did really well this debate. Uh, I think he uh, spoke uh, very passionately about the, his core message of a rigged economy uh, held up by a corrupt system of campaign finance. I thought he spoke uh, on the issue of immigration, on the issue of uh, the need for uh, uh, to deal with the issue of mass incarceration. Uh, I thought he hit those out of the park. Uh, I thought his uh, foreign policy presentation uh, contrasting his uh, his views versus the secretary's more interventionist views, I thought, uh, were also outstanding. So I think on, on issue after issue, I think he had the, the better of it. What about uh, what Secretary Clinton said there in the closing minutes of the debate? She said, I am not a single issue candidate. I don't think this is a single issue country. Is Senator Sanders a single issue candidate? Well, I think people who watch the debate tonight, it's a little bit laughable, sorry. Uh, I think people who watch the debate tonight uh, who saw him uh, talk about the economy, talk about campaign finance, talk about immigration reform, talk about race relations, uh, talk about health care, uh, talk about mass incarceration, talk about foreign policy, uh, talk about women's rights. Uh, I think anybody who watched it uh, didn't sort of get where that was coming from. But I, I don't do the strategy on the other side. Uh, let me ask you, though, uh, at one point, Senator Sanders says he thinks, he's, he thinks race relations would be better under him as president than President Obama. How so? How would he do that? Well, I, I think the point that he was making, and I think it was actually the secretary was making as well, is that both of them would work to improve uh, race relations uh, in this country uh, uh, once President Obama's term is up. I think it is incumbent on every president uh, to work to help improve race relations in this country, to create a more inclusive society, uh, and to uh, celebrate and welcome the diversity of, of America. So uh, I think in terms of any president, we would hope that they would work to make America a more inclusive a country. We certainly are not where we need to be. Uh, just to be clear here, so the question was, so race relations would be better under Sanders' presidency than they've been. Uh, Senator Sanders, absolutely. So where exactly has Senator Obama been, uh, President Obama rather, been deficient? No, no, that's not the that's that's not the point at all. And if that's the point, if that's what you're taking away from that, I think you're totally misreading it. Look, President Obama uh, has been uh, made great progress in in a number of areas, including in race relations in this country. Uh, but there is still work to be done. I don't think anybody who sees what goes on, what's going on in Flint, can deny that we have a great amount of work to do uh, to make a more inclusive and just society. I mean, that's absolutely just the fact. Uh, and, Sec and Senator Sanders is, has uh, said many, many times uh, that as president, he will fight to defeat institutional racism in this country. He's going to fix a broken criminal justice system, and he's going to create ladders of opportunity for people uh, in all communities in this country. So uh, it, that's not a criticism of President Obama. And I, I, you know, I know sometimes the media likes to spin things like that. But what it is is, is a recognition of all the work that we have to do going forward. Uh, Jeff, we saw Senator Sanders meeting with Reverend Al Sharpton uh, in Harlem this week. How does the senator plan to increase his outreach to the African American community? Well, look, we're, he's, he's spending a lot of time meeting with African American leaders. In fact, I think you've seen in uh, recent days uh, a number of African American leaders who have uh, uh, come out in support of uh, Senator Sanders, including uh, Ben Jealous, a recent past president of the NAACP. Uh, it, uh, Senator Nita Turner, State Senator Nita Turner, uh, a well-known uh, African-American uh, political figure who's, who's from Ohio, who's very prominent. Uh, we saw Harry, Bel Harry Belafonte, uh, who, as you know, is uh, a, a longtime activist in politics uh, in America, uh, who have come out for Senator Sanders. Uh, there's a video we just released today, which people can see uh, on YouTube. Uh, Erica Garner, the daughter of uh, 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 Eric Garner, who was uh, strangled on the, on the streets of New York City, uh, coming out in a very sort of uh, emotional uh, video supporting Senator Sanders. I encourage people to go see it. So, you know, we are reaching out to the African American community. Senator Sanders is reaching out. Uh, I think he's speaking to issues that are important to the African American community, ending racism, creating opportunity for all Americans, uh, making sure that no community is left behind. Uh, I think these are the issues that uh, uh, people are, are looking to hear from him, and, and he is speaking to those issues. Jeff, what are your expectations in South Carolina? Well, look, we uh, 
when we started in Iowa, we were 50 some odd points down. When we went to New Hampshire, we were 40 some odd points down. And in both cases, we closed the gap. And in New Hampshire, uh, we obviously uh, went way over the top uh, in New Hampshire. Nevada is the next uh, race. And uh, Senator Sanders is going to be out there working very hard to um, earn votes in uh, in Nevada, and then we're going to be earning votes in South Carolina. And this Senator Sanders is going to do what he does in every state, which is he earns votes one voter at a time, talking to them about the issues that are important to their lives. Does he need to win in both those places? No, they, you don't need to. It's not like you need to win in any state uh, or every state. Uh, you know, the Democratic primary process is is a one based on proportional representation. Uh, and so, you know, if you come relatively close in states, you leave with the same number of delegates. And at the end of the day, this is going to be a delegate fight all the way to the convention. You know, Senator Sanders is raising large amounts of money and small contributions uh, from over a million people online. Uh, you know, he has the financial resources to go toe to toe with the secretaries, a Wall Street funded campaign all the way to the convention. Uh, and so this is going to be a fight for delegates in every single state. Uh, that's not to say that he is going to win every state, uh, but we, at the end of the day, are going to win more delegates and win the nomination. Uh, I want to open it up to our other panelists in just a moment, but uh, very quickly, Jeff, uh, Secretary Clinton said, I do not believe a vote in 2002 was a plan to defeat ISIS in 2016. It's very important we focus on the threats we face today. What is Senator Sanders' plan to defeat ISIS? Well, he, he has laid out his plan to defeat ISIS, uh, which is to create a coalition of Muslim uh, countries uh, to pr provide troops on the ground, to, supply, to provide uh, support from the air and financially uh, from the U.S., from Russia, from our Western allies, uh, and to uh, go after ISIS, ISIS and crush them. That's been his plan that he has articulated, uh, and that's how we're going to defeat them. He is not for sending, unilaterally sending in America's sons and daughters into the quagmire of the Middle East. Uh, to, to carry all the water uh, for everybody. We need to have a, a, a coalition of countries who are going to go in there and crush uh, ISIS, and it can be accomplished. All right, I want to open it up to uh, our CBS News senior political editor, Steve Chigaris. Uh, he is there in Greenville, South Carolina. Steve, did you have any questions that you wanted to ask Jeff? I would like to know, uh, Jeff, um, what, what do you think of this, this idea that uh, the Clinton folks, the Clinton campaign, they're trying to um, maybe suggest that Sanders is part of the establishment, having been in Congress for 25 years, having a whole series of votes that they can point to as evidence. Uh, what, what is your take on that uh, as somebody who is trying to attra attract sort of this anti-establishment uh, voter? Yeah. Well, look, Senator Sanders has been, has been in the Congress for a long time, uh, fighting uh, for working class people and middle class people against a trench of powerful interests in this country. Uh, everybody knows that. And to suggest that he's part of the establishment, I'm, just, I'm sorry, it's a little bit laughable. All right, Jeff Weaver, Bernie Sanders campaign manager, thank you so much. Thanks so much. Happy to be here.